And what is up everyone? It is your boy Fry and today we're gonna to be looking at um, another free VST day. We're gonna be looking at some uh, noise gates, right? So if you have like a slight hiss in your recordings, a little sizzled, you know, bit of bacon on there, you can uh, pretty much get rid of that. I will be kind of, I have some examples here from recordings I've either done or received from people and uh, we'll kind of look at how to approach these um, different instances. Obviously the most important thing is firstly to get a quiet room because then at least there's not much post-production you have to do because the more, you know, you manipulate your voice, the, the less organic it's going to sound. So that's pretty much the main thing to focus on. Uh, you know, if you do have a room tone in your voice, which is not specifically mechanical noise that, you know, will come out of microphone, um, you know, the best thing to do, I always tell people, is set up a blanket behind where the microphone is so that, you know, you kind of reduce the reflections going into the mic. That's kind of the uh, most important thing. The second thing, obviously, is if you got that bit of hiss or sizzle, whatever you want to call it, um, try playing with your gain. You know, you can use a plug-in, an AB, if you did watch the last uh, video on mic levels and whatever. But yeah, um, the whole thing is to try and not have a lot of noise. So let's just look at this, which I recorded a while ago. But as you can see here, I, I use no noise gate or anything. I just made sure that the signal-to-noise ratio was good. We were in a quiet room, so um, we were able to get some decent results. A bit but um well, i don't know what the word is for that but it's okay so yeah check this out check out the pass meter and you can see where the noise is reading at so i'll keep quiet quickly it's been a while since your number popped up my phone i've been spending most of my so yeah there you go i mean the noise was at like minus 45 at most um you know when she goes you know something like that but you know that's really fine it's acceptable because when there's a beat behind or on top of the song, you won't hear that at all, right? But the problem starts to come when you, um, obviously, as I said, have room tone and whatnot. Um, but another general thing is, for example, here we got Bricky. Shout out Bricky. Um, you can go and check out his SoundCloud and all of that. But basically, you can see here, he, he's done some ad libs. And generally, you could get away with this because, um, you know, this is in sync with the song per se. It's not really noise, but you can hear in the background, he's ad libbing and you can hear the rest of the song bleeding from his headphones that is very much treatable you can treat that by you know literally just um cutting everything out you know and then just adding a crossfade here and there uh you know for example so i'll just play that for you nah <laughs> i'm fucked up so as you can hear you know there is like quite a, a definite noise in there <clears throat> it's unwanted obviously but it's not the worst thing um cutting things out can tend to make things sound like you know, kind of in and out if, you know, the, the ad-libs are really loud in the song and you kind of hear, you know, something going in and out. So I would not really recommend doing that in some instances, but a lot of the time that generally works. But uh, yeah, the first thing, this is a great example because we have a good signal to noise ratio, right? Um, the way you can see the difference is, you know, there's this kind of general crest factor or, you know, the meat of the vocal, the general level of what it's going to sound like, and there's the noise. So we got a good signal to noise ratio so let's just check how we can treat these we've got a bunch of amazing um noise gates i, I kind of went through and picked the best ones and yeah we'll look at a paid one which i purchased um because i do a bit of post-production this is a great one for post-production but i'll explain why um later so yeah in a kind of um you know we kind of know what's happening with this vocal so the noise gate also knows what's going to happen so it's pretty easy to treat uh, that doesn't really make sense, but I'll show you now. So yeah, first we got the, and I've barely checked this out. I ran through them once, but they all sound really good. So I'm pretty happy with them. We got the soft amp and this is a guitar channel, but it has a really cool noise gate on it. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's check it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the learn button, play the audio. Nah. <laughs> oh, fuck. So as you can hear, there's the audio oh. playing and we'll just turn up that knob. Where is that? Who is that? Okay. 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 Facts. Nah. So not the worst. <laughs> but let's try and properly learn it. So I'll teach you quickly how to uh, properly allow a plugin to learn. You just want to get a piece of the noise. Oops. So you just want to create a loop section. How do I create loops again? There we go.
So there you go. Now there's nothing, and now we'll hope that these, the actual signal will stick through. I fucked up. Not bad, right? Oh. For a free option, that's Where that? Amazing, right? Who is that? But you can hear it's degrading the audio. Okay. Question. Okay. See, a bit of the high end is lost. Okay. So yeah, those are the kind of things, you know, obviously that's why I say you don't want to have to do too much post-production, but this is a good option, right? Anything with the learn function will um, help you get to where you need to be. So that's pretty cool. Soft Sans amp. We'll try it off on um, Benzo Benny here, uh, which is from one of his songs called Trap House. You can hear nothing. Okay? Now they think less of me. But you can hear there's like a reverb room tone. Now, I'm not really going to concentrate on trying to fix that. That's a totally another video because that requires you to notch filter everything out. But um, let's just see what the noise gate can do on this. And um, I forget how to create a loop section now. How do I create a loop section? Um, 2,000 years later. Oh, there you go. Now they thinking less of me turned into my enemy. Fuck you and your energy. I just need my hand and see. So you know what I mean? You can't really cure that off top. So we, let's leave that for a different video. Um, and we'll kind of use Bricky's voice as a um, example here. What was it again? Or was it shifting? Ah, now I remember. You see your boy, your boy getting old. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Let's test out all of them one time and we'll see, um, you know, which one sounds the best. Honestly, these DD plugins, um, Dead Duck, like out of all the plugins we've used on FreeVST today, these are definitely like Swiss Army Knife. You know, they just look basic, they do what they do, and they sound pretty good. So, I mean, I'll just show you, I'll just crank the threshold, I won't even adjust the attack and release too much. But have we got some presets? No, we don't. Uh, so just go for it. Nah. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Oh. Where it at? Who is that? Okay. 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 Facts. Nah. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Oh. Where it at? So yeah, there you go. That sounds awesome. Um, the reason why I find that the out of all of them kind of the best is because um it really didn't do much to the the signal we wanted right you know these noise gates tend to coat the audio and then it kind of fiddles with the high end and makes it sound kind of like it's kind of washing and something but this is really clean i mean i'll a b that one more time nah <laughs> i'm fucked up oh where it at? And then we can adjust uh, adjust the hold and attack just to get those, as you can kind of hear like the, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Those little things that pop in and out towards either the beginning or the end. We can adjust the release and attack and all of that just to kind of see what we can. Um, nah. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Oh. But yeah, whatever. You get the gist. Um, yeah, so let's check out the next one would be the effector which also sounds amazing which again is a um kind of guitar pedal emulation but i mean you'll hear this is really clean really high tech um you know for those who kind of started like mixing like years ago you know when there was only gg gate and a lot of just trash noise gates you know now it's like there's free ones that sound amazing you know so there's no excuse to have like extremely hissy recordings unless that's the aesthetic you're going for you know like a bit of um vinyl hiss or something nah <laughs> I'm fucked up. Oh. Where it at? Who is that? Perfect. Okay. Okay. But you can hear the high end does suffer. Okay. Bit. Facts. But I mean, there you go. That sounds A grade awesome, right? Uh, next one we can check out is GG Gate. Dum, dum, dum. And this is a perfect example of um, when the high end gets demolished by the noise gate. So let's go. Nah. So that's not nothing. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Actually, that's not too bad. Sorry, sorry, oh. GG gate. It's not so bad. Or G gate. Where that? Oh, GG. Who is that? <laughs> but let's just go overboard. Okay. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Facts. 
Hmm. Nah. Okay, well, that doesn't sound too bad. Um, Next one, which is pretty much my favorite. I don't know. I really like variety of sound. But, um, you know, the reason is because you got this expander knob. You got all sorts of cool options here. You got filters and whatever, whatever. But, yeah, let's just check out this. Obviously, when you open this up, sometimes it is off a lot of the time. That's how I, like, the first time I opened it up, I was like, this isn't working. But uh, you just got to turn it on, right? Just like everything else, you got to turn on. So, yeah, let's check it out. Nah. Turn on the scope. <laughs> Ooh, gangster. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Oh. Where it at? Who is that? Okay. 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 Facts. Nah. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Oh. Uh, where it at? Who is that? Okay. So yeah, um, basically, even though this noise gate isn't able to kind of grab that last bit of like, <laughs> you know, what I like the most about this is it doesn't alter the, the signal really at all. Um, you know, it sounds really clean. So yeah, hopefully that, that has been fun. Now, um, let's just check out a different example, um, which is basically this, right? So what I've done is I have um, blended like some water and um, this recording over here just to show you that certain things are not curable, right? So for example, you can see that this signal to noise ratio is not very good. The noise, right, um, is treatable, right? So we, we'll leave this on and you can hear that there's absolutely nothing, but you'll hear the problem now. It's been a while since your number popped up my phone. You know what I mean? It's going you see, that's when you confuse the noise gate. It's not able to distinguish anymore what is signal and what is noise. So I'll just play this for you without um, any noise gate so you can hear. It's been a while since your number popped up my phone. So let's check out the noise level, right? So we'll check out over here. So that's like around minus 30. It's been a while. So now we'll kind of try and set our noise gates around minus 30 and see what we can do. This doesn't have a uh, value. So we'll just try and, and see what um, we can do here. Obviously, we've got a nice section of audio to allow the noise gates to learn. So let's try this out. Gone, right? So let's check. It's been a while since your number popped up my phone. You see, I've it'll been spending never leave. most of my it'll forever be in the recording. So that's why you know it's not worth having such crazy, you know, badly recorded vocals or whatever it is. Um, you might as well just re-record them, you know what I'm saying? So let's see as a test if anything else can actually treat this. I really doubt it, but let's try it out. So there we go, minus 30. That's where the noise was. It's been a while since your number popped up my phone. I've been spending most of my You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna it's work. It's been a while since. So yeah, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Uh, we're not gonna go to all of these. Um, ah, but for reference sake, we will just try. Minus thirty, right? It's been a while since your number popped up my phone. Cool. We get a kind of similar pattern. So the one thing that, and this is the reason why I got this, is because this is a really intelligent um noise gate. But basically, it's able to wrap itself around the signal. So let's just um turn it on, right? So we'll leave it off and then turn it on. So there you go, nothing happening. It's been a while since your number popped up my phone. I've been spending most of my... So yeah, I mean, you know... It's been a while since your number popped up my phone. I've been spending most of my... Nah. Whoops. <laughs> it's been a while since your number popped up my phone. I've been spending most of my... Nah. Um. It's been a while since your number popped up my phone. You know what I mean? You can almost get there, but it's not going to sound good. You know, um, this happens a lot of the time with the post production where people record stuff with the camera mic and then they like fix it and it doesn't work. And you know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you learned something in this video. Um, like and subscribe. Almost at a thousand subscribers. Shout out to all of you out there. Um, feel free to recommend any types of videos you want to see in the near future and um we'll get to it so peace out it's your boy it's your boy <laughs>